Hi, young people. I'm Pastor Gary Blanchard, and I'm here with Homer Moroni. And we are in collaboration together. I am the director for the youth department, and you are the direction for publishing ministries. Department. And we work together. Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit about what you do, Amir. What does publishing director mean? What is the publishing work? What's that all about? Basically, the publishing department in the church is to promote, encourage church mem members to distribute literature. Wow. This is the, our main focus, involved in literature distribution. And I hear that young people are very much involved in this. How are young people involved in literature evangelism? Most of the uh, projects that we have uh, are focused on the students, at least, or youth, at least, uh, literature evangelists. Wow. So they work, uh, especially during summer vacation around the world, and they visit people distributing our literature, selling literature. They have three objectives. Okay. First one, preach the gospel through literature. Second one, develop skills as they meet different people. They need to convince people to purchase. Excellent. So they develop skills. Nice. And third one, they get resources to pay their scholarship. That's so wonderful to hear that. That's excellent. In fact, I hear that that those who work in this ministry have some of the amazing stories. In yeah. fact, in fact, young people, every single Friday, the next Friday, we're going to actually start posting for 10 weeks amazing stories by young people who go out and get involved in literature work. You know how many students or youth are involved in this work? How many? We have 20,000 around, around the world, and they visit an average of 5 million people per year. Wow. Wow. See, that's really exciting. So don't miss out on listening to those stories at GC Youth Ministries, our Facebook page. Every single Friday for 10 weeks, you're going to hear some amazing stories. So, Pastor Amir, if a young person is listening right now and they're like, I want to be a part of this, I want to be a part of going out and sharing the message of Jesus, where would they go? I, I would uh, say, please go to Adventist Publishing Ministries Facebook uh, we have this page. We will post the same stories, yeah. as you mentioned, and then you just contact through this uh, web page, and we will uh, be glad to help you, to assist you. Amen. There you have it, young people. You have a place where you can go to learn more about it and sign up. Make sure you also talk to your youth director, your conference union, division youth director, and let them know you're interested. We love you, young people. We want to pray for you right now. Pastor yes. Amir, would you pray for all yes. of our young people? Yes. Because like you said, there's thousands of them out there right now. Mm -hmm. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for putting in our hearts the desire to be your servants. And also we pray, Lord, for those who are watching this video so they can feel the call, they can answer positively that call that you are giving to them to become missionaries. As uh, this student Elise go out now during the summer, bless them so that many people will be contacted and reached to your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. A book can go where an evangelist can't go. It can keep speaking truth long after the person who brings it has left. It can point someone to the Bible when all other ways have failed. So when a Christian warmly presents a book, it can change the whole course of someone's life. That's why every summer, groups of young people work the cities for 10 weeks, meeting people in their daily routines and leaving them with books that meet their needs and point them back to Jesus. And through the power of God, the lives of thousands of people are impacted eternally. There is a reason this work continues, even though it's not easy. Because there are people everywhere craving truth longing for something deeper, and waiting for someone to show them the love of God. They could be waiting for you.